For cheap and reliable FIFA Ultimate Team coins, go to fifacredits.com. What's up guys, I'm Tom LFC Evan and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Career Mode episode and guys if you want to see an early episode tomorrow with two epic games then get this video to 200 likes, smash the like button and today's question which nation, which international team are you supporting and did they make it to the World Cup and if they did how far do you think they will come? This will be my team against Blackburn Rovers and uh, I will also show you the squad report in this episode because many of you guys wanted me uh, to show the squad report and it has been quite a while since I last uh, showed it. So let me know guys which nation do you support. I support Hungary, my home nation and England but I will also follow uh, Spain, Brazil, Argentina uh, very closely in the World Cup, World Cup and Germany and the Netherlands as well. Um, Either of uh, Brazil, Spain, England or the Netherlands win, I will be very very happy uh, with the World Cup. But I, would, I wouldn't mind uh, Germany and Argentina either. I just, want to, I just want a team who plays really nice football to win the World Cup. And guys, we can pull a little bit away from the pack if we win here. But I feel my um, second string side... Um, Except Bale and Sturridge because I wanted uh, to give them a playing time. Come on! Yes! <laughs> what a start! That is Sturridge! Let's do the Sturridge dance! Woohoo! Brilliant! That was our first real chance! And what a through ball by Gareth Bale! Look at that! Inch perfect! And Sturridge outmuscles the defender somehow and slots it home. Sturridge needed a goal for his confidence. He hasn't been scoring that many. Come on, Sturridge! Yes! Daniel Sturridge! I'm the man! Look at me! <laughs> That's what he says with his celebration. What a lovely counter-attack. Blackburn had the free kick and we opened up their defense. And Sturridge won't miss from there. Marshall with a lovely through ball. That's why I started Sturridge. I wanted to get him some goals. And that's a great finish. Look at his lovely boots. <laughs> now he's looking for some support. Uchan! Oh, damn! Oh, damn. Great shot. Just past the post, far post. So let's make three subs. Uh, Yashio Boateng and Götze coming on. And I'm switched formation. This is how I will play. I will try to dominate possession. And maybe score another goal. Come on! Botting! Oh, damn! Unlucky. Come on! Must be! No! How? Oh, my. Uchan! Must be! Must be! Unbelievable! How is this not 3 1? Oh my god! Oh my word! The amount of chances that we had in stoppage time, we should have scored a third. Yes, guys! Get in there! We won! And that's the most important thing. Blackburn gave us a scare with that goal. But if you look at the stats, I really should have uh, scored more goals. I had 9 shots, they had 1. Yes, only four shots on target, but we, we hit the post. We had 60% possession. Really nice game. 
and let's go and show you the league table and the latest results in the Premier League and also I will show you the squad report before we end this episode so let's just fast forward it and oh Van Ryden accepted our contract brilliant and there are some as you can see we have a lot of international players in our squad and somebody returns from injury I think it's Thiago Ilori yes Ilori returns from injury which is brilliant yes oh that's good news that's great news let's see the Premier League results the latest results so here they are so let's look at the Tottenham one against Sunderland and then they won against Swansea but Chelsea failed to beat Sunderland Man City won though but they Man City have drawn against Southampton so basically and the Man United beat Hall City so basically some of the big teams dropped points lately which is really good for us our lead is still four points above Tottenham but it looks like it will be between us Tottenham and Man City because I think Man United and Chelsea are a little bit far away it's it's a we had a really storming start to the season as you can see our goal difference is brilliant we are scoring goals for fun we scored 27 goals so far in the league which is just outstanding finishing and Balotelli is top scorer with seven goals Sturridge is up there with six I'm really happy with him he just scored a brace against uh, Blackburn and Bale is there with four goals so the Bale the new signing and Shakiri also scored four so basically we are sharing the goals around which is really good really really good and let's see the clean sheets Muslero has two clean sheets and Courtois only has one so we don't keep a lot of clean sheets but uh, the most important thing is uh, winning the games and now let's show you the squad report because many of you guys said that I should I should show the squad report it was a long time when I showed it the last time and I extended Van der Heyden's contract because he wanted a pay rise he has been on 500 yes 500 pounds a week for like two more than two seasons and uh, and it, it's good because uh, you know he's a youth academy player and he, his stats are like a right winger stats um, and uh, Flanagan is going up a look at this guy Andre Wisdom he just keeps growing and growing and growing and I play him as a center back because he's not that fast but he is very very good at defending as you can see by his stats and Luke Shaw also not a really good signing he could be a world-class left back in years to come. Uchan, he has been complaining of a lack of game time, but I, I try to rotate him and Gundogan and Boateng, but we only have one CDM spot in the team. These guys, Coutinho and Sterling, they are bit apart players, but Sterling especially, they scored two goals. But look at this, the new signing, Gareth Bale, seven goals, ten assists, and he mo mainly doesn't play as a striker. That's great finishing. Sturridge, 8 goals, only 4 assists. Martial already scored 5 goals, which is really impressive. Balotelli, 8 goals, 2 assists. And Suarez, 5 goals. So basically these 6 guys, Bale, Sturridge, Martial, Balotelli, Suarez. Uh, these 5 guys, they have been sharing the goal scoring around, which is really impressive. Yashil also already scored a goal. I just can't get Suso into the team at the moment because we have so many world-class players was once once Suarez gets older and he might retire you know Suarez I think I will play uh, Suso a lot more and these are the youth academy players as you can see they are growing like crazy which is really good so I, I will play here them maybe next season a lot more which is, I'm really impressed with the youth academy that Liverpool have both in real life and both in the game because as you can see, we have some really, really top talent coming through. I will try to send Jack Butland on loan. He's 78 rated, so he's going up surely but nicely and slowly but nicely. So um, maybe when Muslera retires, Butland can be our second choice goalkeeper. And Alaba, no assists. Wow, that's quite weird. But I, I try to play like nice short passing football. I haven't been crossing it that much this season. 
because with Bale in the team, I think we can open up anyone. And these two guys, Ibe and Adorian, they not sure they have a lot of future here because they are not growing at all. But anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this career mode episode and the squad report. I will be back with an early episode if this episode gets 200 likes tomorrow. I will be back with the more career mode videos. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Welcome to the World Cup final. Uruguay against Spain. It doesn't get much better and much bigger than this. An ultimate team episode today. But I hope that the live commentary makes up for it. 